Second section, reverser. Okay. Now you can see where it, where it rubbed. This is the groove it created before when it see it mm, oh yeah oh sh yeah damn okay that was from the clutch or the that was from those what are they called the packs the clutch yeah a snap ring did it okay that big snap ring yep. and what it did is when the clutch slipped past and welded itself to the floater it started moving like this and it popped the spring the snap ring Snap ring was hanging out, spinning.
the splines go down past. Oh, yep. As long as the springs, wave spring that's up here doesn't get soft, it won't allow this to travel up. Okay. Where yep. the clutch disc will slide past past that. Like it did before. Like it did before. side of the pressure plate that's flat that sits against a floater okay because if it didn't sit against the floater it eat itself up it's aluminum and this is all together see mm -hmm. that tension if yep. that was to lighten up on me and and squeeze together too much that spring, maybe by having too much pressure, when we check the levers, for an example, mm -hmm. and, and overstressing it, you know, then you're going to have a problem where it slips over the end. Nice 
nice and tight. That's how we like it. <laughs>
they blew a tranny? No, I didn't blow it. <laughs> you didn't get the joke. <laughs> oh, blew a tranny. <laughs>